Welcome back, everybody, to Kamikaze and Friends, episode 67. I'm Kamikaze, this is Anthony, and we were just discussing how Anthony just candidly hates everybody he knows. That's not true. We're talking about how I, how I like Sarah, because everyone likes Sarah. She's like pudding. And it's like she wouldn't believe um, <laughs> how often like we talk about how much we like her behind her back. <laughs> but, but it's, yeah, fuck it, that, girl. It's, 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 it's often. Uh, <laughs> like, it, it sounds sarcastic when I say it like that, but it's, but it's, it's not. It's not. No, it's... It's it's, it's so normal. <laughs> she's genuinely really great. She's genuinely great. No, yeah, really. <laughs> I do that sometimes at work, and I try to give somebody a compliment, and they're like, you sound so sarcastic. I'm like, I can't shut it off, dude. <laughs> Like you're just gonna have it to was accept. a good experience. We beat up a monkey and we got no XP, and it said it was a good experience. I've never seen that before. How many experiences did you get? Oh, it was good. It was like going to a show. Like, <laughs> we've definitely been here before. But this is where the dinos roam. Is this where we came from? It might be. Oh, jeez. Ever tell you that time that there was like one of those people who was trying to shill their church to me in the city? That happened, sure. And like, I think it happened to be like, I don't even know, they gave me some kind of ridiculous pamphlet. There's baby birds? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I think I'd get Tender a Tender loving that? tree. <laughs> He's a firm lover. Okay. Oh, okay. But <laughs> Is he not? Sure. It's a tree. We're gonna light him on fire. I don't have to explain myself to you. Anyway, the guy forced me to uh, give me a pamphlet. And he's like, "Can I have money?" I go, "No." He just rips the pamphlet out of my hands and storms off. Jeez. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like fucking seventeen. Leave me alone, dude. Like, <laughs> Come on. city's a magical place. Uh, did you ever have to live in? Oh, you did live in the city. I did live in the city. What's one of the weirdest things that ever happened to you in the city? Nothing that weird, I don't think. Uh, it's just they're weirdos on the train. That's really it. it, it nothing. David has alarming stories of when he lived in where I have down two there. stories. I don't have anything alarming, I don't think. I have a few stories. Well, two stories that I'm going to tell anyway. Okay. Because <laughs> one of them is oh, eh, questionable, but. <laughs> yeah, gee. The one, I hate it when they uh, do this. My buddy was in the city, he was going to college, and. There was just like this weird old man who had a pillowcase, and he was just pi like picking up frogs and putting them into the pillowcase. <laughs> he had this enormous That's pillowcase kind of weird. full okay. of frogs, and he had just threw it over his shoulder. Hear all this ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> it's like a as he just walks off, he had a bucket of KFC under one arm and a bag of frogs on the other. <laughs> and then the other one's my story. When we were in the city, it was like 3 a.m. and we were headed to a McDonald's. You know, after, as, as you do, as one does in the city at 3 a.m. And there was just this like clown walking across the street. We were at a stop sign, walking across the street with a fucking chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that, yeah, that was around like 2016, 2017, when there were just inexplicable clown sightings everywhere. Oh, this one was like 2014. Oh, it was yeah, it was an early one. Early clown. Yeah, man. And we just sort of stood there. Watch the clown make eye contact with us. Stop. Then he just continued on his way with his chainsaw. Mm. <laughs> That's a Chicago thing that happened right there. It's, I mean, the, I, you get characters like that in any big city, I think. You get I chainsaw think. clowns? Well, I just... I'm really glad I'm not clown phobic. I mean, me too. But... Alexa, what's the term for being having the clown phobia? Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor Oops, that I translated. The phobia of clowns is called colrophobia. It <laughs> is a specific phobia What's that Latin is characterized by an irrational and persistent fear of clowns and can be triggered Alexa, by the Alexa, what's Latin for clown? Sorry, I don't speak Latin yet. What? That's disappointing. Alexa, what does Wikipedia say is Latin for clown? <laughs> from SpanishDick.com. In Latin, Quis quietus meant stillness or rest, and its derivates have similar meanings. In quietus, restless, quiesco, not to move, to rest. Okay, quietus, Alexa, st stop that, please. Love That's God. too much. 
I think something about core or close or something. Core. I... Well, in Spanish, it's payaso. <laughs> payaso. I know uh, this because I call a lot of people clown. Payaso. In Vietnamese, it's, uh, uh, what is it? Fucking. Oh, hello. Are you a guinea pig? I can't remember. It's a I knew it. I knew it like a week ago. But in uh, Polish, it's just clown with a K. <laughs> well, I really like that. That's like a like a Pokemon right there. <laughs> oh no, there's. Oh, it's real close to being a Digimon though. Like you give him a gun, he's a Digimon now. You know. <laughs> pretty much. That's pretty much the criteria. <laughs> Kick that one to the curb. So, I you know at my job they built a new building. Of, for the same company right next door, literally next door, right? Oh, how new is it? They built it a year ago. I, like, live by there. I feel like I would have noticed that. They ripped down an existing warehouse and built a new one. It's, it, is it far off the street? It's next to the street. I you you wouldn't have noticed because it, they put it in the same place as the old one. Anyway. Well, I would have noticed there's a crane. They didn't I, expand whatever. the parking. And they hired a shitload of people. That's a problem. You know, my cousin works with me, so he just sent me this meme. Couldn't find any parking spots, so I just left my job. They got other people. people that, yeah. Apparently, they had it. But <laughs> the, the cat makes it. Like that's fucking epic. <laughs> that's how we are. I walk into work and go, "Feels like a real good time to go home." <laughs> <laughs> Consistently, you know, we just have a good laugh about it. <laughs> Feels like a good time to go home. <laughs> but we have a point system, so I go, "That point looking real good right now." And then halfway through the day, I go, that half a point looking real good right now. Hmm. And that's the lowest we go for our system, but it'll be like 10 minutes before the end of the day. And I go, that 136th of a point looking real good right now. <laughs> I just keep like going the, Like the, that you're giving up. <laughs> yeah, like to be in trouble or something. Like, <laughs> Should we get that present? Yeah, isn't the blue one like a map? Is it? I don't remember. I remember blue ones being something important, like maps. Yeah. See? Okay, you know something. Here, uh... Thanks, I think. You know a thing or two about Is that the map, or is it... It's the cave map. Cool. Is that good? It's very good. As soon as I watched it, here, I was like, I have no idea what we're doing here. Probably right, so we should hey, go left. you sound like me at work in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here, <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, everybody should have a healthy disdain for their job. <laughs> Except you. You're weird. And I, I accept that. No, I, I like what I do. I know, most of the problem. time. I like what I do too. Sometimes you just don't like who you work for. No, I don't have I work for Six like Flags. That. That's going to be the bit I start now. <laughs> you know, he's That's not going to say the company I work for, obviously. Right. So, uh, I work for Six Flags. <laughs> he doesn't actually work for Six Flags. Hey! That's what we're saying. Okay. It's like when uh, people this... online wouldn't say. Uh, COVID because they'd be demonetized. Right. So they said the Backstreet Boys tour. Right. Backstreet's back. I'm tired of fighting moles. And they were like, Backstreet just won't stop touring. He's got magic pudding. That's good. This boys, put them away. <laughs> so I work for Six Flags for all intention purposes. How does that sound? Is it intention purposes or intensive purposes? Intense and purposes. Intense? Intense. I-N-T-E-N-T-S. Okay, see, in my head it was I-N-T-E-N-T-S. I-N-T-E-N-T-S. Like you're going to camp. Like with the purpose of going to camp. Yeah. And have a nice bonfire. Why, why would that be a common expression? I don't know. Oh, wait. We left. This is where we came in. Duh. Okay. That's like when uh, Sarah what and I figured it? out I was saying uh, co covered wagon wrong. What were you saying? Cupboard wagon. Because, <laughs> you know, you keep all your shit in the cupboard. You keep all I your mean, shit in your cupboard yeah, wagon. Okay, I can, I can get that. Yeah, you, know, you kept all your food in there. You kept it safe like you do in a cupboard. Uh-oh. Cuddle bomb? I think this is bad. He's probably going to grab you. Just run. Uh-oh, he's going to cuddle you. He missed! Good Couldn't run. run. Is this like a boss? The music's oh, getting faster. Shit. He might fuck you up. We ran away. Okay. Good. Oh. oh, this is the worst. Maybe not. There's two of them. I don't like the way they're looking at you. It's pretty mischievous right there. Busted. Our guys are fucked. We gotta get out of here. 
Well, they're not quite fucked. You know. Okay. They, they. I don't think they attack. I think they just blow up. We got a goddess bustier. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> That's what it said. I'll show you. Sounds uh, strange. Bustier, huh? It's French, I assume. For what? Isn't that the gun? Buster, Mega Man has? I guess. But <laughs> it's the gun Mega Man has. Buster Cannon. All right, we should murder at least one of these people. He's gonna cuddle you though. Buster's. Why on would it. you want to fuck somebody up who just wants to love you? They want to murder. Yeah, my boss at work. He'll go. Uh, speaking of Hot consent, damn. he'll go tickle fight. Oh, speaking of consent, Jesus. <laughs> and then his boss goes, buddy, they need consent. And then I go consensual tickle fight. And you just hear my boss go. <laughs> and just like walk away because <laughs> I'm just like making it worse for him to deal with uh, we're an HR there. nightmare I, I bet <laughs> but I bet your HR is also a nightmare what's uh what's that one band ACDC when they go fucking nightmare that's me at work no I don't know that song but... oh well you mm. don't listen to ACDC well, because I'd like to keep my hearing, thank you. Turn it down. <laughs> okay, Grandpa. <laughs> Turn it down, yo, whippersnappers. Your loony tunes are too loud for me. You don't like that? Uh, Instead of, like, newfangled music, I want loony tunes. Looney tunes are as old as your grandpa, probably, but... Not anymore. Grandpas are like our dad's age now, because we're old as shit. Well, yeah, okay. You still have a grandpa? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Well, yeah. he must be nice. Yeah, I mean, they, like, Way my to brag. grandparents are in their 80s. Just, just, you just reported. alienated, like, one-fourth of our audience. Way to go. <sighs> All right, I, 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 <laughs> then I'll shut up. No, don't do that. We need content. <laughs> so, uh, we need to blow these people up. We need to blow them up. Speaking of content, that's somehow okay... People are enjoying our Lego Jurassic World series. Check that out, too. Uh, I, I Shameful watched a little shill. bit of it. it Shameful it, it, shill. It seems like a fun, lighthearted little game. We're starting to get into it. I know nothing about anything past Jurassic Park 1, so this Ooh. is like Sarah's Paradise in my hell. So if you want to see like a weird balance, check that shit out, too. It's the longest game ever, too. Oh, I remember the other game I want to play with you, buddy. Uh, the Mario RPG for Super Nintendo got remade, and it's coming out in, like, a month. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, that's that's an obvious contender. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to play that with you in general, but now that it's being remastered, that's a no-brainer. You know what else got remastered? It's Paper Mario 2. That's the one that we played? Oh, yeah. Okay. A thousand Year Door. I bet that looks really nice. It does! And I'm gonna I'm gonna play the shit out of that one. Yeah, just like you know, we just played it. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it on the channel probably, but because I don't think there's any real difference, it just looks better. It just looks better. But you know what Sarah did buy me is uh, Detective Pikachu. What is that? Uh, Pikachu. That's a detective. Oh, the movie? No. Wait. This is Detective Pikachu too. It's the sequel game. Okay, I'm out of the loop then. There's a movie based on the original game. I didn't know that that was a game. I had no idea. I thought hey, someone just made that up. He loves coffee. That's his thing. Well, he's because he's a cop. Yeah, he can't drink himself to death, so he can get coffee. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's dark. But, well, yeah, that's the point. What would a mouse be into? I guess caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, caffeine. Pikachu likes drinking ketchup. I don't know why this one likes coffee. Pikachu's weird. I also found out the reason they changed Pikachu from a big chungus to like a, like a lankier mouse is because, you know, he was the main character in the show, so they needed him to emote better. So he needed a frickin' neck. <laughs> <laughs> big chungus. I'm not wrong. No, you're good. No, you're good. You're right. The other this thing kill that. I bought Sarah for her birthday was a new indie game called Paleo Pines. I think Stardew Valley, but with dinosaurs. Shit. What happened? You explode? Oh, it doesn't actually do that much damage because it ends the battle. Oh, well, if there was two left. 
<laughs> but Paleo Pines is like a dinosaur uh, Stardew Valley, but you can like ride them and they can do little things for you. But like their eyes are super big and they're super cute and kawaii and shit. Okay, I, I don't, I'm not really into sandboxy stuff, but uh, yeah, but you know who is Sarah? <laughs> okay. And but... did I buy the game for you or for her? Okay. But... Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> You're like, shut up, man. Oh, God. Have you ever poured salt Wait. on a slug? Wait, don't we have salt? Yeah, go for it. Like, I feel like we have something. We had a salt gun. We did at some point. Oh, we robots. had an egg and now it's a chick. But... Oops. Oops. Uh. Well, maybe they want to eat it. <laughs> Who are we to judge? Backwards gloves. Or hermit Is it backwards show. gloves? Yeah. What's that mean? Remember... Set vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game. Yeah. Never uh, stops giving, does it? It's just, it's, like it's a, beautiful. Yeah, God is bust you. I, I, I forgot to figure out what that was. Uh, huh. It's going to bust you, boy. I think we should cast fire on these guys. Or water. Freeze them. Freeze them. See what happens. See, maybe they're so gooey they turn into ice. Or something. Or maybe the dog just licks them up and they dry out. Oh, well, we only, we're fighting one now. Okay. Smack the other one with a bat, dude. Yeah, we don't need oh, he's basically either. dead. You never know. Speaking of basically dead, my will to live, so I think that's the end of this episode. All right. <laughs> well, I'll be here all week, so we'll see you guys I, next I time. I have to look after you now. Yeah, please uh, take me take me to church. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a goatee joke. Take me oh, speaking to... of things that end in weird letters, I have to look at my inventory again. Goodbye. Goodbye. I, for inventory, don't want to see you do that. What? I see you pee. What? I see you pee. Oh, no, you did it after you, you can scrub. scrub.